Alright, what is going on guys? Today we are watching Fire Force Season 2 Episode 7. I'm going to have Season 2 Episode 8 up in a little bit, but I'm just going to have this one up first because it's from last week. Um, for any, those of you who don't already know, I was away last week so I missed all the videos. But this is the last video now of the week that I will be doing a double of and next week it will be back to normal. So, without further ado, let's get into the episode right now. Death by fire. Mm, we got our new arc starting. New arc. I think new arc starting. It, it's what it seems like. <laughs> oh yeah, that dude's from here, isn't he? Juggernaut. Is Juggernaut his name, or is it just why everybody calls him? I, th I said this in the last episode, I think, but uh, the ships remind me so much of uh, Fire Nation ships from um, Attack on Titan, not Attack on Titan, Avatar. <laughs> why are you eating it? Why? Why are you doing that? <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> no, why is everybody eating soil? Night King was here. No. No. So his name's Kaku. Noto. She said sure. Oh, the accent's so cute. Thank you, mightily. Oh, he's so big. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Are they actually speaking in like somewhat of like a slangy country uh, Japanese accent, or is it uh, just the subtitles that are made like that to give off the impression? I'm not really sure, but it's cute. It's cute regardless. Y'all can tell me. Y'all can tell me. Oh. Hmm. It's like it, the uh, part in the middle was caught away. What the hell? <laughs> it's cute. His fists are so big. <laughs> Alright, so what really happened in the last episode? I can't really remember that much, but I'm this, basically. Uh, we had the start of the new arc, I guess, uh, where all the newest recruits, I suppose, have gone to the Republic of China or something? Something along those lines. Um, and we also had... I guess the intro wouldn't have changed, I suppose. But we had Inca 
who voluntarily went to the uh there she is now the uh the bad people whose name i still can't remember <laughs> but um yeah and then yeah that's i think that's pretty much all that happened <laughs> obviously there was a lot more spaced out than that but uh yeah I'm anyway, excited to get back to the episodes now. We got two episodes today as well. Woohoo! Well, just me anyway. What the hell is this ma- What is this gas? It's like hyper gas. <laughs> Stimulants, oh my god. Hehehehe. <laughs> <laughs> Chinese Peninsula. Oh my god. Is this, so, is this not a slight abuse of power? This might be helpful for them, though, like, if they're stimulated, if they get into a fight or something, this might be good for them. <laughs> so funny hearing, like, Captain Erwin's voice. But in this kind of, like, dorky character. But he's still, like, a captain. He's still, and he kind of still... He gives off the same vibe, in a, in a way. Yeah. It's a stimulant, but they're still going to use up a lot of energy doing this. Why did he say 250, but the... Ooh. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> now I'm cold. What is... How is he driving like that? Oh, what is this? What is that? Oh my god, that's big. Did it? I thought it was something being chased by it. No, it's this thing. It's a mole! <laughs> I was gonna say, is this normal? <laughs> Oh my god. Is this the introducing of a new mascot? You can tell. Ah, so this is who's been, who's been stealing the potatoes.
<laughs> what is that? Oh, that's cool. Oh, I see. So he can fire spears, but he puts his spears into his uh, into his board. That's pretty cool. Oh, he's like, yeah, he, he's like a fire mole. That's cool. Ah, cool. <laughs> he is high off his ass. What is it made of? It looks like it's made of rock. Or like some really strong armor, at least. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Hmm. Well, that was lucky. <laughs> Interesting. He can make uh, things of fire that aren't just long spears. He can also fold them into knives, apparently. Why can the animals speak? Weird. Oh yeah, all the animals can speak. Okay. This is so weird. <laughs> this is so weird. I like it though. Bro, I hope the the mole comes back with them. That'd be so cool. Oh. Maybe these two can use flame abilities and that's why they can speak. I don't know. Are they bandits? It's nice. Oh, what? Are you not concerned as to what they are? 
Yeah. Oh. Oh my god. Night blindness. Night blindness? How can you not see big flames? What? Oh my god. Really? Jesus. That is a lot of infernals though. You're crazy, Shinra. Will falling into lava kill infernals? Mm, true, I guess. Still, still eager to find out why they can speak and stuff. And if the mole can, I assume the crow can use flame abilities as well. That's crazy, though, from the Great Black Cataclysm, though. And not like man made. <laughs> Should be easy for the ones that can fly. Tabernacle. What? Huh? What the hell? Almost nobody came to see this yet. What? Oh my god, yeah. So there was like, unless uh, this is just something I've forgotten, but there was like actual modern life and modern technology during the Great Cataclysm. So the good world kind of just got reset. That's interesting. Mm. Yeah, probably. Uh, yeah. 
Yeah, Shinra. <laughs> Don't be so optimistic about it, look. I like this little mole, dude. Hmm. Mm. Scop. I'll remember his name, Scop. <laughs> the Scop. The scope of our mission. Oh. Fair enough. Oh. What is that? Infernal dogs. Oh my god, it's like the Black Ops dogs. <laughs> Wait, are all the bandits animals? Are they not humans? I thought only humans could uh, turn into infernals. That's pretty cool. Oh, okay. So they're all animals well then they should be easy to take down what it's it's fine don't worry about it fair enough who's this with who Whose voice is this? Ooh. Ooh. Alright, that was a good little start to the new episode. The, the new arc, sorry. That was really interesting and exciting. Uh, a lot of new interesting stuff has been shown now. Uh, I like the introduction of the new characters, the animals that can speak. Like I said, I really hope that they... Uh, Scop and the crow, whose name I've forgotten. Um, I really hope that they continue to be a part of the series even if it's just scop like i could see him being like you know the little cute little anime mascot kind of thing um hopefully he comes back home with them if he can maybe he'll just stay in the oasis i don't know but it'd be cool to see um i assume because scop's like tail is on fire i assume the ones that can speak english uh are the ones that have flame abilities and it kind of works the same as um how it does with humans ones that you know can use flame abilities and then there's ones that are infernals like the dogs and then obviously use too much of your ability go to overheated you'll turn into an infernal yourself but um yeah i'm really looking forward to it and obviously the next episode is out in like an hour and a half for me so i get to find out pretty soon what's going on <laughs> which is great but yeah overall a really good episode and that's all I have to say. So thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day and peace out.